Hi there! I'm Victoria and in this video I'm going to explain what a sitemap is and guide you through the steps on how to create a sitemap in WordPress. If you're already familiar with a sitemap and how it benefits your website, feel free to jump right into step-by-step -step tutorial by clicking on the timestamp in the description below. Let's start! A sitemap refers to a list of all public URLs on a website. It shows the relationship between the different web pages and the importance of each page in the website hierarchy. Creating a sitemap helps both visitors and search engine crawlers navigate a website faster and easier. There are two different types of sitemaps. The first is extensible markup language, also called XML sitemap, and the second is hypertext markup language or an HTML sitemap. To put simply, the main difference between HTML and XML sitemaps is their readability. An XML sitemap is more machine readable, while HTML sitemap is designed for real users. Now let's break down each of these types. First, an XML sitemap functions to record information about each URL on your website along with additional context and metadata. The metadata includes important information regarding URLs, such as when it was last updated, how frequently it is updated, and its relation to other URLs in the sitemap. An XML sitemap is designed for search engine crawlers to understand the structure of your website for a faster and more accurate indexing process. Major search engines nowadays apply the XML sitemap protocol, so an absence of an XML sitemap might result in some of your web pages being overlooked by search engines. You can think about the XML sitemaps as a medium to explain your website's content to search engine crawlers. That way, they can display your web pages in search results for relevant queries. Now let's move on onto HTML sitemap. This type of sitemap provides information about website URLs using HTML format. It functions to contextualize your web pages for website visitors, which results in easier navigation. An HTML sitemap contains clickable links to get visitors to their desired web page. Generally, you can find a website sitemap on their footer of a web page, but there are many ways to display an HTML sitemap according to your preferred website layout. It's also useful to note that although an HTML sitemap doesn't have a direct influence on SEO, it can definitely enhance a website's user experience. So I highly recommend having both XML and HTML sitemaps on your website. This can result in several benefits. First, sitemaps can alert search engine crawlers each time there is a new post on a website. Plus, it informs search engines about pages they have not yet indexed. Second, sitemaps improve website navigability, as it clearly shows the structure and the hierarchy of web pages. Third, sitemaps show search engines that your website doesn't have duplicate content, which is beneficial for SEO. Now that you know what sitemaps are, let's move on to the steps on how to create a sitemap in WordPress. The simplest way to create a sitemap in WordPress is by using a plugin. Aside from sitemap creation, you can get additional features and functionalities to help optimize your website. A plugin will also help update your sitemap automatically every time you make a new post or edit existing ones. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to generate a sitemap using Yoast SEO plugin. First, sign in to your account and go to the plugins menu on the left side of the WordPress dashboard. Then click Add New. After that, type Yoast SEO into the search bar and click on Install Now button. Wait for the process to finish, then click on Activate button. To generate an XML sitemap, access the Yoast SEO menu from your WordPress dashboard, then enter the Features tab. Switch the toggle below XML sitemaps to On, if it's not already turned on by default. Then don't forget to hit the Save Changes button. To generate an XML sitemap URL, click on the question mark icon and select the See the XML sitemap option. After that, Yoast SEO will redirect you to your XML sitemaps URL, where you can find more information about each URL on your site. 
If you prefer not to install a plugin, WordPress default sitemap function is a great option to quickly get your website indexed on search engines. Fortunately, the steps are pretty simple to follow and it only requires you to run a WordPress version 5.5 or above. To check this, hover over the Tools menu on your dashboard, then choose Site Health. Click on the Info tab, then select the WordPress drop-down menu to see your website's current WordPress version. After making sure your website is eligible for this method, open your browser and type in your website's domain and add forward slash sitemap.xml at the end. Alternatively, you can type forward slash wp dash sitemap.xml at the end of your domain name. You'll then see a list of all your website content here, including the dates each URL was last modified. Clicking on each link will direct you to the live web page, which is also how it works for search engines. After creating a sitemap, you'll need to submit it to search engines to get properly crawled and indexed. Although search engine bots will still crawl your website without a sitemap, submitting one can help speed up the process. If your plugin doesn't have the option to automatically submit sitemaps, you will need to do so manually. I'm going to show you how to submit an XML sitemap through the Google Search Console. First, you will need to create a Google account. If you already have one, simply log in, then select the property type. Choose the domain option and enter your website's domain name. Then hit the continue button. Now you'll need to verify domain ownership by adding txt record given by Google Search Console to your DNS server. On each panel, go to DNS Zone Editor, then fill in the record under the Manage DNS Records box. After that, go back to your Google Search Console account and select sitemaps on the dashboard. Insert your XML sitemap URL in the text box under the Add a new sitemap section. Then click Submit to finish the process. You can check the sitemap status by clicking on the Sitemaps menu, then scrolling to Submitted Sitemaps. Google Search Console will show if the process was successful and share the number of discovered URLs per sitemap. And there you go! Now you know how to create a sitemap in WordPress. If you have any further questions, let us know in the comment section below. We will be more than happy to answer them. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more videos about website development, web hosting and other tech-related topics, click the subscribe button below. I'll see you in the next one.